The sport of rodeo has kept the cowboys going since the 19th century. No, this episode isn't about the rough and tough cowboys of the wild, wild west. It's actually about the art of statesmanship that this rodeo has to offer. I'm here with Pascal at the Rodeo Grill in the Beach Rotana in Abu Dhabi. Hello. Hello, welcome. Thank you. I love this place, but I'm here at a beach resort and I'm a big steak lover. So tell me, how can this place charm me into coming and eating here? Basically, what you, what you have here is, is a setup of a, of, a, of a beach hotel with a variety of restaurants, one of them being Rodeo Grill, where we do have a variety of various cuts carefully selected and then uh, cooked in our just by wooden fire at oven. Uh, we do have a, a meat master who, who will approach your table right in the beginning um, and will, will introduce you a bit the, the origin of the meat, the farmer where it has been produced and how it ends up here on our table. Perfect. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting this meat master and also seeing what the uh, chef is going to prepare from you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hi, my name's Adam Ash. I'm the executive chef of Beach Rotana. Uh, and I'm going to prepare for you uh, steak tartare from Rodeo Grill today. Um, I have uh, US Angus tenderloin, which we hand cut. And then to that we add uh, the main ingredients, Dijon mustard, some uh, ketchup, mayonnaise, uh, a little bit of Worcester uh, shea sauce, uh, some capers, some gherkins, and a little bit of Tabasco. Uh, we mix all of that together. Uh, then we finish the dish with uh, some homemade uh, hot sauce, some uh, truffle oil, uh, a little bit of flat leaf parsley and some uh, thick fries that we've previously steamed so they're extra crunchy. Chef Adam, you have already put a very big smile on my face. As I can see here, you have beef tartare. I am a huge meat lover and I hope you didn't change anything from the classic. No, we, we kept it simple. We kept the classics. Uh, yes. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. So put a little bit on your plate. Thank you. There you go. And I love these. Do you put a batter or something on the fries? What's on here? No, they're, they're basically thick fries. And what we do is we steam them beforehand. So when they go in the deep fryer, when they come out, uh, then extra crispy, extra crunchy. It brings a different texture to the dish. Well, I'm going to choose because I've never seen steak tartare actually with um, the potatoes. And so I'm not going to opt for the crostini, the classic. And I know you have some extra sauces here. So they're One spicy. Then a homemade. Uh, I will try it. I'm not going to tell you I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Let's see. A little tartare. I had a small bite with and without the sauce. The sauce is very nice. I enjoyed it, but for me, it would be better just on its own, actually. Um, but it's nice that you have the option there to make it a little bit more heat in the meat. And the, fr the french fries that are there, very crunchy. And so I actually prefer it without, uh, without the crusty. Oh, Sorry. This is the classic uh, condiment. And then we have the fries, uh, which is, again, a little bit of a different texture and a different idea. So we try to cater for everybody. Well, it's great. And uh, you didn't change a thing. I love it. Now we're going to prepare the main course. It's the uh, John Stone bone-in ribeye, uh, which we cook in our uh, Jospa oven. Uh, it comes with the uh, baked Idaho potato, the onion rings, the Jospa uh, roasted vine tomatoes, and I'll serve it with a uh, mushroom sauce. Clearly, I am ready to attack the meat. So here, uh, I'm overwhelmed, actually, Chef. You have a huge portion here. The baked potato, we have some onion rings, the sauce, the steak, and the smell is divine. I, I really enjoy it. And I know it's because you do something a little bit different here. We use a, yeah, we use a Jospa grill or Jospa oven, and it's uh, wood charcoal. It's not gas, electricity. And uh, it brings a, a little smoky flavor, an added smoky uh, aspect to, to whatever we cook in there. Okay. The beef itself is, uh, is Irish beef, uh, John Stone, and it's uh, grass-fed only and uh, dry-aged for 21 days. So it's, uh, it intensifies the flavour. This is, this is for someone who really likes meat. I don't really like meat, 
I love meat now. <laughs> and for me, I wanted to try one with and without the sauce. The sauce is very creamy with the mushrooms. It's really nice. I mean, you could drink the sauce on its own, but the flavors of the steak, you don't even need anything. It's, it's very flavorful and it's really crispy, just a little bit around. And then when you're done, for me, I would actually take the rest with my hand and probably lick the bone. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a good sign. Yes. <laughs>